They really do sound much like trumpets. Their majestic sounds, however, have diminished more than normal this winter. State biologists estimate there are 14,421 in northern Puget Sound. That's three times as many as there were 20 years ago, but this winter they found 261 dead so far, and that's up about 75% from normal. We believe and have some evidence that, um, that the aspergillosis is, is playing a factor in the mortality. State biologist Chris Danielson says aspergillosis comes from the fields where swans feed. The leftover grain and stubble gets moldy and infects their respiratory system. They're great, they're great, yeah. Swan lovers are worried about the uptick in deaths. It does concern me. Once in a while we'll see, when it's frozen, we'll see a swan sick and an eagle sitting and waiting for it <laughs> to, to eat it, you know, it's, it's very sad. The number of trumpeter swans in the western United States has been making a big comeback in recent decades, so this latest problem with the moldy grain causing the deaths is, in context, not terribly serious. I would say no. We've had uh, uh, events like this before with larger numbers of waterfowl, so I would say this is something that just occurs and, and we don't have a lot of control over it. And what we're seeing so far is it's not a, it's not a, um, a major, major event. Still, as their numbers rebound from lead shotgun pellets still poisoning them from long ago hunters, some people see their majesty and just cannot help but care. In Whatcom County, Jeff Burnside, Como 4 News.